அவர்களையும் பதவி நீக்கம் செய்ய வேண்டும் திஸ் இஸ் வாட் த செகண்ட் ட்வீட் அப்போசிஷன் லீடர் தி ஆனரபிள் சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் நவ் திரு எம் கே ஸ்டாலின் ஜி அஸ் அப்போசிஷன் லீடர் அஸ் கேட்டகரிக்கலி ரெக்வஸ்டட் தி ஆனரபிள் கவர்னர் தென் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் அண்ட் எயிட்டீன் டு டிஸ்மிஸ் அ மினிஸ்டர் ஃப்ரம் த ஏடிஎம்கே கவர்மெண்ட் நவ் இன் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ கால்ஸ் இஸ் அ கான்ஸ்டியூஷனல் கிரைசிஸ் நவ் இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் இட் தேர் ஆர் சம் சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ஜட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ எம் கருணாநிதி வர்சஸ் யூனியன் ஆஃப் இந்தியா நைன்டீன் செவன்டி ஒன் இன் தட் பர்டிகுலர் ஜட்மெண்ட் த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் ஹஸ் கிளியர்லி செட் அப்பாயிண்டிங் அத்தாரிட்டி இஸ் ஆல்சோ த டிஸ்மிஸிங் அத்தாரிட்டி திஸ் வாஸ் அ கேஸ் வேர் அ ப்ராசிக்யூஷன் சேங்ஷன் வாஸ் கிவன் அகேன்ஸ்ட் மிஸ்டர் கருணாநிதி ஜி ஃபார் டேக்கிங் அ பெக்யூனரி அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபோர் லேக் டு ஃபைவ் லேக் இன் த வீட் பர்ச்சேஸ் கேம் ஃப்ரம் பஞ்சாப் இட் ஹஸ் கான் ஆல் தி வே டு த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் த சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் இஸ் கிவன் அ கேட்டகரிகள் ஜட்மெண்ட் So we are not getting into it. The whole of Tamil Nadu knows Mr. Sendhil Balaji is a corrupt minister. The whole of Tamil Nadu knows he continuing in the cabinet is definitely not the right thing. The whole of Tamil Nadu expects the chief minister of Tamil Nadu to remove Mr. Sendhil Balaji from the cabinet. It is the bounden duty of chief minister of Tamil Nadu to keep his cabinet neat and clean, which is not doing it. So now the question of whether the governor has got powers or no powers, we don't want to get into that. Since the governor has chosen... to go to the attorney general and take his opinion and get back to us so bjp tamil nadu we choose to reserve our comment on this particular issue so what we are trying to do is bringing out what mr mk stalin ji has spoken at different points of time and what supreme court has given judgments at different points of time in the paya also then you would that i have also written a second letter to cm uh, uh, stating that we will have a discussion with the attorney general and uh, uh, admin some from the home ministry and uh, after that today morning we have seen some gmk cadres have stick some wall posters against uh, uh, the governor stating that there are few uh, ministers from central cabinet and will you write a letter to delhi regarding this because okay, now the governor's order yesterday was very clear again reserving our comment on whether it is right or wrong that is for the attorney general and governor to come back again now governor has extensively quoted from the supreme court's observation on mr sendil balaji what supreme court has said especially using the police as a shield to prevent action being taken against him so based on everything he has taken action so governor's letter to chief minister yesterday the first letter is very clear now this is not applicable to the remaining ministers if you look at by the same logic 99% ministers in tamil nadu cabinet have got some kind of a conviction against them they have gone on appeal half the people was recently mr ponmudi was also given a very strong observation by the madras high court also going by their opinion then half the 99% of cabinet of tamil nadu cannot be in operation i am not getting into that as i have said very clearly bjp tamil nadu we reserve our comment with respect to the powers of the governor on that because he has chosen to go to the attorney general at the same time it is our duty to bring to people's opinion also what mr mk stalin ji has said as opposition leader as opposition leader he wanted the governor to dismiss one particular minister of the adm k government now we calls constitutional crisis that is a double double standard we are bringing to people's attention now sir maamun nanbada vandu kadichi vandu thalaiva point thola irangi petra illa onnu 20 ku thalaiva ella kelvi porala porala kelvi mesutta chennai vandha coach kamaran Well, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for staying with us here at CNN News 18. That was the Tamil Nadu BJP chief Anna Malai, who is hit out at the DMK government, and he has also spoken as far as the dismissal of the minister Senthil Balaji is concerned. He has also gone on to say, "Fair if the governor and the AG give a detailed response." There is a massive showdown that is taking place in Tamil Nadu this after Governor R N Ravi dismissed Senthil Balaji from the state cabinet. without consulting the chief minister mk stalin then after facing backlash from the dmk government now the governor has gone on to say that this order can be put in abeyance till further orders the governor will also now take the opinion uh, and suggestions from the attorney general the governor has also written a scathing letter to the tamil nadu chief minister mk stalin where he stated that senthil balaji will influence the probe and obstruct the uh, course of justice the dmk government continues to slam the governor for his action stating that he has no right to dismiss a minister as per the constitution let's also now bring in our colleague purnima murli who is joining us on the broadcast purnima there's a lot of back and forth that's taking place the bjp is also hitting out at the dmk government but first help us understand what has made the governor now change his mind there was a lot of backlash that he didn't consult the dmk government the dmk is saying that this per this was not as per the constitution what is happening currently 
Well, uh, the governor has backtracked his uh, earlier press release uh, where he had dismissed Sendal Balaji as a minister. The reason given uh, by that, uh, by governor, is that uh, he's been advised by the home minister to take a legal opinion before uh, dismissing Sendal Balaji. And therefore, uh, governor said that he will be uh, taking legal opinion from uh, the attorney general before taking that final decision at the moment. The governor has put on hold uh, the decision to dismiss Sendil Balaji as a minister. This is something uh, that the DMK says is against the constitution. And uh, immediately after the governor had released the press uh, statement, uh, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin said that the DMK will move the court. And nearly four hours later, the governor said that the decision to dismiss Sendil Balaji is, has been put on hold till he gets legal opinion in this uh, in this regard. Uh, therefore. Uh, politics over the entire issue is only escalating. While mm. the BJP and the AIADMK had welcomed governor's earlier decision to dismiss Sendal Balaji, now the BJP says that it's uh, the same chief minister who was then in the opposition had demanded that the governor drop the then minister Vijay Bhaskar, who was facing, uh, who was also facing a criminal case. Uh, and it's the same uh, uh, chief minister who is now uh, supporting his minister and. Okay. Uh, and says that this is uh, this is something that DMK is doing to save uh, to save the minister because uh, they allege that the minister is corrupt and is trying to save uh, the, the the DMK and that is why the DMK is fully supporting Sendil Balaji. But uh, they okay. hope and demand that Sendil Balaji be dropped as a cabinet uh, minister till the ED completes its investigation in a case that dates back to 2014. Now, Purnima, post this backlash because the governor has put his decision in abeyance. Now, he's in fact backtracked that decision. He's also written a letter claiming his unease as far as this dismissal is concerned. Talk to us about the points that the governor has raised with the chief minister, M.K. Stalin, when he says that I feel that the minister, Santal Balaji, in fact, will obstruct the due process of law and investigation. Well, in the detailed six-page letter that governor has written to chief minister, of course, uh, 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 the governor says that on many occasions, the governor had advised the chief minister, but had received inflammatory uh, letter from the chief minister and also attacks the chief minister, saying that there is an unhealthy bias from the chief minister to retain Sendil Balaji. And even though... As per constitution, uh, the governor had invoked uh, certain articles to dismiss Sendil Balaji. The chief minister did not uh, uh, did not even consider the requests made by the governor, and uh, uh, and that the governor is sad to say the least is the exact quote that uh, in fact the governor had said and uh, said that because uh, there are so many criminal cases and the enforcement inspectorate is also now trying to uh, trying to uh, uh, trying to conduct okay. a fair and thorough probe. It's only fair that he be dropped as uh, okay. uh, as a minister till ED completes its investigation, so that it does not affect. Sure. Uh, it does not have a breakdown of the constitution, missionary of the state. Purnima, we'll just request you to stay on with us as we were discussing that the governor has now, in fact, withdrawn his sacking order as far as the DMK minister Senthil Balaji is concerned. As we were pointing out earlier, that the governor has made. His unease very, very clear. So let's break down the details in terms of what are the apprehensions that the governor has made it clear in that six-page long letter that he's written to the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, M.K. Stalin. The first thing that the governor has gone on to say, and this is what I was discussing with Purnima, that Senthil Balaji will obstruct the due process of law. The second apprehension that has been voiced by the governor is that the minister, Senthil Balaji, will disrupt the course of justice as well. He's also now gone on to say... And this is again an apprehension that he's voiced that the insistence to retain reflects your unhealthy bias. So he's hit out at the DMK that it's possibly that you have a bias against your minister. You're possibly shielding him. And that is what is reflected in this action of yours. The governor has also gone on to say this may also lead to constitutional breakdown as far as the constitutional machinery is concerned. He's also gone on to say central not dropped despite the recommendation of the governor. So this.